If you were men, as men you are in show, you would not use a gentle lady so. Once you forget about the language, it's just like human interaction and it's really goofy and fun and silly and all of these things that they talk about are still really relevant today. I feel like what a lot of people forget is that Shakespeare was kind of built on audience interaction and so just come in and respond and allow yourself to fully be in that moment with them. And then we could have another person here. In the spring of 2007 when we opened up this space here in the Main Stage Theater, the first show we did was Midsummer Night's Dream. And so since we were coming back, we felt that it was a good way to, uh, to, to come back again. And, you know, Queen Elizabeth, it was her favorite show, so she even invited it to court. So there's been a lot of people who have enjoyed it. Um, but the question is, coming out of this pandemic, um, what does it mean now? <laughs> yeah. To me, when I think about Midsummer, it comes down to love. And that's, to me, what a big part of the show is about. So I think if people can take away appreciating love, who they love, who loves them. We're really putting our own personalities into these characters and making them more people that would exist. I am I'm pretty spunky <laughs> once people get to know me and I think that really comes through in Hermia because she is she's a tough girl. She's not one that'll just like sit on her laurels and wait for people to figure things out. She'll she'll figure it out herself and try to push you along in the right path too. If you were civil oh. and knew courtesy, you would not do me thus much injury. I think there's something that everybody can enjoy um, instead of just coming in and kind of having that prep and saying, oh, Shakespeare, we'll do all the work for you. You can just sit back and have fun. <laughs>